So, like Asuka in June, I also got a big chance to play Lily in this beta as well, and I spent a lot of time with the character. So, to start with, I feel like her heat engagers is not the best. She has 3 plus 4 for a heat engager, and it seems okay, it's just a slow high. But I guess it's okay, but when the hit's in heat, I don't think you get a follow up. You just get one of those, like, just guaranteed follow ups. So you do increase the F3 afterwards. Now, she also has back turn 1 4, which is okay because you can go into it from, from this. The back 2 1 on delay in, in counter hit into back turn 1 4. But again, it's not something you're going to land very often compared to a lot of other heat engagers. The, I think the main one that you're going to get is probably 3 1 as a heat engager, as a whip punisher. But again, it's not really one of those like mids that you can throw out compared to other heat engagers. So now her heat, when Lily is actually in heat, what can you do? So first of all, the main thing is the feisty rabbit low becomes a lot quicker, guarantees a knockdown, and you get Kusia Kui afterwards. If now, she also has a heat engager out of mid option, which you can use to mix up. So in Feisty Rabbit, she has Unseeable Low, and in Feisty Rabbit, she has a mid option that you can combo from. So it's an okay mix up if you can force it. One good way to force the mix up is through QCF Peoples 4, which you can transition into Duke Light for some reason. Then you can force these kind of mix ups. But this is probably going to be the better ways to force this mix up. Another thing I noticed with Lily and Heat is that her. Her 4 4 3 plus 4 is actually really strong in heat. You can see the amount of chip damage this does when I land this in a second. And it's really plus against the wall. It does the wall stun and block, and it takes away a lot of their chip. So I feel like this will be one of the main usage of this of this move. It does a lot of chip, and the wall stuns them for the extra plus frames. Another move that is really good in heat is her heat smash which if you go into back turn and do the heat smash she gets a low option like this and if you space your slot on the wall you actually get a follow up if you space that correctly from the wall and one thing i noticed with lily is that her crucif 3 is a new move and it hits grandish this is something she never really had before like a fast grander hitting mid so now she has access to that with crucif 3 so it's a really nice tool to have and I believe it's safe because I had people try to trap me and they couldn't punish it so I believe it's safe as well and it's a pretty good combo option as well to use in some combos. Now back turn game changed quite a bit they seem to put an emphasis on her having her back turn game being stronger and utilized more however one thing I kind of noticed was back turn 2 is now a power crush it's no longer safe mid check it's now Power Crush. This is the change I really don't like. But the rest changes are pretty good. She has back turn Den 2, which is a low. I don't know how plus it is or how fast it is because of no frame data. But you get free QCF3 on counter hit. You get free QCF3 on counter hit. She also has back turn Den 4, which I think is the same as the old generic low. It's just with a different animation. But I don't know if it's any different frame wise. It could be a completely new low, or it could be the same as the generic low with different animation. I don't know yet. No frame data, so I, I can't test. I can't test this. Another move is back turn three. Four. This is also new. However, it is is mid mid. It is safe. However, you can step in between the hits, so it's still a commitment. So if the opponent knows how to do it, it's still a commitment. But it is a very rewarding mid option if you guess correctly in your mix ups. Now, back turn 1 plus 2 actually has been nerfed. Before, you could only pick Chabish on block, but now you can get one standing forward at least on it. So, this move can never be one standing forward, which is like fair enough, I guess. She has a couple of new moves with step 4, which is pretty nice. If you hit them, you can force the cannons back turn mix up with this. So, this is nice to have. Now, this is a big move that she got. This is a huge buff that she got, in my opinion. Now, Lily was a character that always struggled with fast counter hits, 
Like, she really have a lot to, like, really stop people mashing with good rewards. In Season 4, Tekken 7, they gave her 4-1. But that was still a commitment. But in this game, now she has a G-Cliff. They actually gave her a G-Cliff with 1-1-3. One, one, they gave her a G-Cliff with 1-1-3. One, one, so... Her, um... Her anti-mash has gotten, like, a lot stronger with this. Because she's always a character that has got a lot of plus frames like really really well like who's the plus three plus four on block time for three on block so she she was always a character that had like a lot of plus frames just not something to like capitalize on the plus frames well but now she has a cheek left so she can really stop the opponent from mashing for good reward as well she got some buffs on counter hit as well such as back one which gives you put 10 into 3 2 4, which is nice for wall pressure, especially. For a forward 1 plus 2, gives a free 1 plus 2 on hit. Which is pretty nice. 46 damage. It used to give a Kentrit can knockdown before, but I think this is a bit better because at the wall, you also get this all this follow up. Her back turn 2 1, like I showed at start, gets back turn 1 4, which also goes into heat. It's a bit niche, but it is there. Her forward 3 on normal hit goes into QCF 2 1 as a heat engager, which is going to be one of the main ways you're going to get this move, I think, as a heat engager. 3 2 gives QCF 4, like, do glide into what's standing for. Not that useful, but it is there. Combo wise, I feel like. She, she she was always the character that had good wall carry before bound in Tekken 6 and Tag 2, so it's the same case here. So before you even use Tail Flip move, you can do things like this at the wall. So her wall carry is decent without it. Now I haven't optimized this character at all in the slightest, so she probably has better stuff than that. The good thing with this new Tail Flip move is that since it screws you so close to, to yourself, it's easier to judge when you can go for the back burn ender with Lily, which seems to be still optimal, like just like Tekken 7. So it's actually easier to go for the back burn enders with Lily, thanks to the new um, mechanic, the new tailspin. So obviously I'm not going to talk too much about combos because it's still like day one, not even day one, day minus 10 million. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff to look at with this character, but I think she's okay. Like the G clef is a huge change for sure like that. Might be the single biggest buff that she got. Her back turn game got a little bit better. This being an unsafe kind of sucks, but the new lows are pretty good. And this, if they don't know the matchup, you can kind of abuse this a little bit. And it's a homey mid as well from back turn, so a good op option against Lily's pressure was to like size that right duck, and it will make a lot of stuff with. But now she can do this to keep you in check, so it's a very good uh, offensive option in back turn. Yeah, that kind of ties it up in regards to Lily. I think she's more fun for sure. She's definitely an interesting character that got a lot of new things to play with. And that kind of summarizes it there.